Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, we haven't seen the sun here in a very long time. Been pacing rain at three inches an hour, pretty much, for 24 hours. Everything's draining off here, pretty much locked in, roads not very passable, and batteries are going down. Uh, it's wet, wet. So we've been getting so much rain and dark days for the past couple of weeks. Uh, I've been draining batteries and not recharging them. And this is uh, kind of what it looks like. I'll show you everything I've been shuffling. Uh, empty, 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 empty. Slid that one into production to run the refrigerator and freezer. First thing this morning, woke up at about midnight. My inverter was uh, beeping, low voltage disconnect, and it was low voltage. So, have not been catching any sun for a couple of weeks, pounding rain, 20 some inches of rain, I believe. I'm starting to lose track. Solar panels, not producing because there's just been zero sun, the darkest of dark days and torrential uh, tropical rains. So I had all of these batteries completely full and I've just been dragging them and replacing them into the system here where we've got the refrigerator and freezer tied into. And today I'm gonna have to go ahead and start recharging these with a generator, which always have as a backup. Haven't had to do that uh, really at all, not to the, the degree I am now. And as you can see, I've got stuff strung around, uh, moving things around. I want to show you guys this cool sign my sister got made for me. This is going to find a place to live on a display table. Got some upcoming batteries to show you guys, uh, some new batteries to show you in, in a couple of upcoming videos shortly. This one's running the coffee maker right now. All systems are pretty low. Got my 24 volt battery down to 22%, trying to charge. Super, super low. So yeah, I'm gonna fire up the generator right now. I can charge two of these at once, which is what I plan to do. Let that generator run all day. I've got to get these things boosted back up. We're not expected to see the sun anytime soon. And when I say dark, I mean dark. Even the main house system here, these two chins, been going down, going down 24%. They're going to hold okay. Not putting much of a load on them right now as I'm switching things around to keep the house running. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've had to do any jockeying of batteries this way, but I'm glad I had the extra batteries. Going to make it work. On the plus side, with all the dark and rain, the water catchment tank has been overflowing. Uh, if you've been following the channel, we went through one of the driest Decembers and Januaries ever, and that tank was getting critically low, and it's just overflowing every day actually getting a little bit of brightness right now which for literally first time in a couple of weeks it's even been this light there's probably a few amps coming in off of those panels and i'll take a look and see what they look like but still going to need the generator happy to have it don't like using it but sometimes you got to break down and do it so right here, I'll just show you real quickly. This is the most watts I've seen in two weeks coming in on a 500 watt string panel. Right now getting 90 watts. So it's not gonna do anything significant today. It's supposed to even get darker. So that's one system there. And here's that 48 volt Power Queen battery. 700 watts tied into there. That's the most I've seen in two weeks coming in. So this is an improvement that gives you an indication of just what we're dealing with out here. 117 watts on 700 watt string. 
So uh, that's not going to get anything up to snuff here either today. And it's going to stay darker. So, yeah, you get the idea. And here's a 300 watt string on that 124 volt battery, grabbing a whole 40 watts. <laughs> and here's a 500 watt string going into the Chin's batteries, 87 watts. So suffice it to say that I'm not gaining anything under these unbelievably wet conditions and dark. We just had a huge, huge uh, system move through us the past few days. Just basically took all the solar offline. And I've been taking my batteries. Actually, some of those that I showed you in the other room, I took them down to where they were all low voltage, low voltage disconnecting. So, and I would just slide another one in, got plenty of batteries uh, to do that little shuffle with. And for the first time, really, since I started these systems a couple of years ago, now I've lived on solar for 30 years, as a lot of you know, I, but in the past two years, as I've been doing lithium iron phosphate, I've never really had to rely on the generator uh, more than once in a couple of years. So everything has been keeping up to uh, the way it should be, but we've had some unusual uh, weather here and we're gonna deal with it. Yeah, 96 watts on 500 watts. Not gonna cut it. So it's gonna look a little industrial here in the workshop. Uh, today I'm gonna tie in these two separate uh, lithium iron phosphate battery chargers. Uh, one is a Power Queen, and then here's a Ardroit. I've reviewed both of these. In the past, they both work well. Uh, the Power Queen is, uh, what size is it? 20 amps. And this is a 20 amp as well. So I'll be able to pump 20 amps for a charger. I'll hook this one up to one of these batteries and that one up to another one. Tie in a little 2000 watt Honda generator and I've already strung my cords out to do that so I'm about ready to fire up the generator and I'm going to let it run all day and I'm going to start topping all of these batteries up because the 10-day forecast ahead of us shows zero sun coming in so I'm going to pump all of these back up until the sun makes an appearance again and then I'll catch right back up very quickly. So sometimes living off grid, you get the unexpected weather and yet you have to keep everything running. And that's what we're doing today. I haven't had to work this hard to keep the, the house up and running ever. <laughs> I can say that, not ever. So yeah, it looks a little industrial, but it's all gonna get done today. Still keep everything running. That last red Odo that I tied in there early this morning uh, is full, showing about 90% full, but it's going to drain down pretty quickly. And then I'm going to have all of these as backup again. So sometimes that's just what you have to do. And it's going to work. So even the little coffee table now had to Pull out a 100 amp hour, tie it into another little inverter just to make our coffee this morning. I'm playing the musical battery thing. Just love that little plaque. That's going to have to find a special home. Love my sister for that. That's a sweet little gift she's brought out here. Supposed to be going around looking at the island and having fun, but. We're just having to do this. And the roads, my goodness, the roads uh, in and out of here. Well, we've had major flooding, had to go out the other morning. I had to go through some lakes on the road. Engine compartment deep was a little touch and go. And if you stay tuned to the very end of this video, I'm gonna show you a 30 second clip of when we were down in Hilo town and the amount of water coming uh, down the mountain 
is impressive. And I'll end the video uh, with that scene. So, how it is. <laughs> Musical batteries. One last thing I'll say, every one of these batteries, a lot of you guys ask me about these various brands. You know, Time USB, Red Odo, Power Queen, Lee Time, uh, Vatter. Every one of these batteries works perfectly as they should to their capacity and specifications. They, they have all worked just fabulously and couldn't be happier with those, but they need a charge. So I, I've drained every one of those that you see in this frame, drained them. Hope you enjoyed that clip of that waterfall. That was pretty impressive. We're gonna stay hunkered down for a few days out here, try and let things get back to normal. This is the most unorganized uh, the system has been in a couple of weeks. We are actually starting to see some light. And that's what I wanted to do was uh, wait till there was possibly some light to do the generator and some solar in conjunction just to go easier on the gas. But that generator is going to run all day. I'll spare you the noise of running all, running all of that. But doing okay. The roads are flooded out there. I was trying to get some shots of how deep those roads in and out of here were. But uh, I needed both hands <laughs> to plow through some of the lakes. But it's going to get better. Got plenty of water. We're all taking showers. All right, everybody. Hope you're having a great day. Aloha.